Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. Today we remember Alfred the Great, who was born in the year 1849. Alfred was the king of the West Saxons, who effectively brought to an end the constant threat of Danish dominion in the British Isles. He came to the throne at the age of 22 and after establishing peace, set about bringing stability to both church and state. He gave half of his income to founding Christian religious houses, which themselves acted as Christian centres for education, care of the sick and poor and respite for travellers. He was a daily attender at mass and himself translated many works into the vernacular. He evolved a legal code based on common sense and Christian mercy. His whole life was marked by the compassion of Christ. He died on this day in the year 1899. O Lord, open our lips. And our march shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the works of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless, bless the Lord, Lord O my soul, and, and forget not all his benefits. his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. He satisfies you with good things, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless, Bless the Lord, all his servants, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first psalm this morning is Psalm 5. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful, the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open specular, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exalt you in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. 
Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and shall be forever. forever. Amen. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Our second psalm, Psalm 6. Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. O Lord, rebu rebuke me not into your wrath, nor chasten me in your fierce anger. Have mercy, mercy on me, Lord, for I am weak. Lord, Lord heal me, for my bones are wrecked. My soul also shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. <coughs> Save, Save me for your loving mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you, and who can give you thanks in the grave? I am weary with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow and flood my bed with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you that do evil, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. All my enemies shall be put to shame and confusion. They shall suddenly turn back in their shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. And our last psalm is Psalm 8. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babies and oppressed. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that have ordained, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him little lower than the angels, and crown him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands, and put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Now Reuben's going to read us our first reading. Our first reading is from the Old Testament, Tobit 4. The same day Tobit remembered the money that he had left in trust with Gabal at Ragus in Media, and he said to himself, Now I have asked for death. Why do I not call my son in Tobias and explain, explain to him about the money before I die? Then he called to his son in Tobias, and when he came out to him, he said, My son, when I die, give me a proper burial. Honour your mother and do not abandon her in the days of her life. Do whatever pleases her and do not grieve. Do not grieve. Do not grieve her in anything. Remember her, my son because she faced many dangers for you while you were in her womb. And when she dies, bury her dis beside me in the same grave. Revive the Lord in all your days, my son, and refuse sin or to transgress in his commandments. Live uprightly for all the days of your life and do not walk in the ways of wrongdoing. For those who act in accordance with truth with truth arms will prosper with truth will prosper in all their activities to all those who practice righteousness give arms from them from your possession and do not let the eye begrudge the gift when you make it do not turn your face away from anyone who is poor and the face of god will not be turned away from you if you have many possessions make your gift from them in pro proportion. If you do not be afraid to give according to the little they you have, so you will be laying up, laying up, up a good treasure to, for yourself against the day of necessity. For alms giving, the 
delivers from death and keeps you from going into darkness. Indeed, almsgiving for you who practice is an excellent offering in the presence of the Most High. Beware, my son, of every kind of fornication. First of all, marry a woman from among your descendants of your ancestors. Do not marry a forger woman who is not from you, not, not of your father's tribe. For we are descendants of the prophets. Remember, my son, that Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our ancestors of old, all took wives among their kind red. They were blessed in their children, and posterity will inherit your kindred, the sons and daughters of your people, by refusing to take a wife for yourself from among them. For in pride there is ruin and great confusion, and, and in idleness there is loss and dire poverty, because idleness is, is the mother for you, a mother of family. Do not keep do not keep over until the next day the wages of those who work for you, but pay them at once. If you serve God, you will receive payment. Watch yourself, my son, in everything you do, and discipline yourself in all your conduct. And what you hate, do not do to anyone. Do not drink wine to excess, or let the drunkenness go with you on your way. Give some of your food to the hungry and some of the clothing to the naked. Give all your slurps as alms. And do not let your eye begrudge the giving of alms. Place your bread on the grave of right righteousness, but give none to sinners. Seek advice from every wise person and do not despise any useful, any useful counsel. At times, Bless the Lord God and ask him for, that your ways may be made straight and that all of your paths and plans may prosper. For none of the nations has, un, has understanding, but the Lord himself will give them good counsel. If, but if he chooses otherwise, he casts down to the deepest hates. So now, my child, remember these commandments. And do not let them be erased from your heart. And now, my son, let me explain to you that I left ten talents of silver in trust with Gabriel, son of Gabriel, in wages in Media. Do not be afraid, my son, because we have become poor. You have great wealth if you fear God and flee in every sin. And what you do is good in the sight of the Lord your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of Jacob. That God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God, God shall judge between, between the nations, nations and shall mediate, mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations nation shall not lift up swords against nations, nation. neither nation shall they run war from anyone. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Van you now read our second reading. Our second reading is from John, chapter 17, verses 60, 6 to 19. I have made your name known to those whom you have gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave me to them gave to them you gave them to me and they have kept your words now they know everything that you have given me is from you for the words known in truth that i have that i have came from and they have believed that you sent me 
I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. And I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them in your name that you have given me, so they may, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded at them, and not one of them was lost or accepted. Lost, accepted. They won destined to be lost, so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. But now I, I am coming to you to be lost, so that the scriptures might be coming to you. And I speak in these things in the world so many that they made my, have my joy made completely in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they do not belong to the world. Just as I do not belong to the world, I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not, not belong to the world. Sanctuary, sanctify them in the truth. Your word is true. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I have sanctified myself so that they may be sanctified in the truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be you to God. God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open, Open my, my eyes, O Lord, Lord that, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments. That, that I may see, see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. And we say together the Benedictus. In your tender and compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. God's truth and life grows in us, like seed in the ground. We pray that the fruits of good works may be seen everywhere, that we may receive the word of God with an open heart, and allow it to influence our thoughts, words and actions. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Lord, we ask that the church may always be a safe place, especially for the weak, frail and vulnerable, just as the mustard, mustard tree is a safe shelter for the birds. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. hear us. Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit will overshadow all that sized into Christ so that his love permeates all aspects of life, just as the yeast makes the bread to rise. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for those who are enduring suffering, may not despair, but to keep alive the hope that Christ's glory awaits them. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Lord, hear us as we pray for all the clergy and lay in our churches that carry ultimate responsibility for welfare and safety in our parishes, along with safeguarding and privacy legislation. May they receive genuine support and help from the whole Christian community. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Heavenly God, in every age do you do marvellous things for your people. In this our time, bless the world with peace and clothe all people in the dignity of your Son, Jesus, who is Lord, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And our colic for this morning. God, our Maker and Redeemer, we pray you of your great mercy and by the power of your holy cross, to guide us by your will and to shield us from our foes, that, after the example of your servant Alfred, we may inwardly love you above all things, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Before we conclude, I'd like to thank Vanya and Reuben for reading. And we hope you'll join us for evening prayer at 5pm. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.